Mike Ayodili here. You are not just an ordinary human being. You are a super human being. You are a super human being. How do I know this? In the beginning of the scripture, Genesis, God made man. Man was lifeless. Man was without life. No spirit in man. But God brought life into man. Now, the life God brought into man is not just an ordinary life. It is the breath of life the breath of god in other words we call it or it is popularly known as zohe or we call it zohe or it is zohe this zohe is life himself and this is god himself so apparently we can uh, conclude that god himself gave all of himself to us so when god gave all of himself to us human being we become extraordinary human being we become a super human being we are not just ordinary again so the moment we receive the breath of life we become super this is why even the scripture affirm it that we are gods we are gods we are sons and daughters of the most high god so the main point is that since god breathed himself into us and he gave himself to us completely then we 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 we, we, we transist from being ordinary to being extraordinary and since we know ourselves as an as an extraordinary human being then we are not supposed to do ordinary things again we are not supposed to be doing ordinary works again we are not supposed to be living an ordinary life again we are not supposed to be eating ordinary food again we are not supposed to live normal like other people out there are living because God gave himself to us. Now, in any given situation, the question you're going to ask yourself is, if God is in my situation and God live in my, in, 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 in my kind of state, if God will not live in that kind of state, then you are not supposed to live in that kind of state, in that kind of situation. So, you are a superhuman being. You are an extraordinary human being. So, do extraordinary things. Do extraordinary works. You have been made to do it. The power to do it is upon you. The strength to do it is on you already because God gave himself to you. He gave himself to us. So, the starting point of living the extraordinary life is to come to the place of God. I'm not saying taking the place of God. Come to the place of God. Come to his presence. Hey, no wonder the scripture says, those who know their God, they shall be powerful. They shall be strengthened. They shall do exploit. They shall do exploit. So you come to the place of God where God is stand by Him. This is when you will do extraordinary work. In other words, you will do exploit. The power to do exploit is on you already. The power to do exploit is on everyone. But when you don't realize the need to come to the place of God, the exploit will be far away from you. Exploit will be far away from you. You want to do extraordinary works. You want to live a super life. You want to live an extraordinary life. Then you've got to come to the place 
of God. Come to the place of God. Leave that place where you are. And God told Abraham, you want to live a super life, then leave your father and your mother. Leave your town, leave your village. Go to the place I am sending you to. There is a place God is sending you to. That is the place of God. There are works God wants you to do. They, that, those are God's works. If, you have to, if you're still doing your own work, you cannot live a super life. So, come to the place of God. Come to the place of God and begin to live a super life. I hope you've been blessed. I hope you've been blessed. Kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you can get subsequent videos as I'll be posting more and uh, or as I'll be sharing more valuable, educative and inspirational spiritual videos, faith filled videos or content or words or messages with you. God bless you.